United States Marine Corps, it's great to start this segment off with the Marine Hymn. How right? about that? Yeah. And this morning, wasn't it such a sight to see Fantastic. the two helicopters mm -hmm. make that landing just over downtown Phoenix, just right. blocks away from here? And now the Marines have landed here in the Fox 10 parking lot. Here's Sergeant Patrick, yes, sir. USMC. Great to meet you and nice see you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for being here. No problem. What a great um, week for us here in the Valley to have you guys here. All the events you have planned, uh, it really is our pleasure to have you guys here and for us to get to see what you guys do on a daily yes. basis. Thanks for having us. We know a lot about the mission of the United States Marine Corps, but I really hadn't thought about that you have dogs as part of your mission too, right? Yes. What do they do? So, the Military Working Dog Program is actually a big deal uh, in the mission of the Marine Corps. We have. Uh, different things as far as explosive odor dogs mm -hmm. that are able to detect a dog, you know, at a, or an odor at a great distance uh, from the handler. And then we also have bite dogs do the patrol side of it as well. Would the animals uh, be part of detecting like uh, 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 improvised uh, explosives like in in uh, the Middle East that uh, our military yes. is facing now? Absolutely. So if our dogs are ever deployed uh, to that environment, um, all of our explosive dogs are trained on those odors that make up those uh, improvised explosive Fast devices. What kind of training goes into um, one of these dogs? Like how long uh, does it take to get them up to par with what they're supposed to be doing? So they go through like a little basic, like a little doggy boot camp down in Texas uh -huh. before they ever come up to the units and start uh, with the handlers building on the training that they've received down there. So you're going to do a little demonstration for us here Absolutely. Today? What are you going to show us? So one of our dogs, uh, this black lab right here, mm -hmm. he's going to be detecting out an odor that we trained them on, like I said earlier, that makes up uh, an explosive. Okay. And then uh, we'll do a little bite work too. Okay, let's see. So, so you've already kind of like secretly placed something somewhere, is that right? Exactly. <laughs> oh, it didn't take him long at all. So there it is, the final response. Once the dog finds that odor, he's trained to lay down. And then end wow. reward is he gets his toy, and that's what makes him happy right there. Uh, wow. What kind of uh, dogs are best, like breeds wise? breed-wise for something like this? So we use the, the Labradors uh, for detection-wise. The obedience is really, really good. For the attack dogs like this, we use Shepherds and Bel Belgian Malwalls. I want to over there. I don't like your dog. Wow. They're a lot more aggressive than uh, the Labradors, so. There it is right there. So now you're telling, okay, good job. Wow. <laughs> <coughs> That's pretty incredible to see. So they could yes. detect uh, explosives. You could have dogs that uh, would actually apprehend the enemy. Absolutely. A and keep them at bay until you decide what to do with them, there right? There it is. And Absolutely as wonderful. far as the handlers are concerned, are they paired up with uh, their own handler that they work with then for years or certain groups? Or yes. How does that work? So a handler will get attached to their assigned dog, and then we have a phase where we do only rapport building. With that, you're just taking them on walks, basically letting that dog know that you know, I'm your friend, I'm your new handler, and then we start building up that relationship to be paired as a team. Wow. Is there any special place in America where you train the dogs? Uh, every Marine Corps base has uh, kennels there mm -hmm. where we do it. Uh, the handlers, we go through uh, canine school down in Blackman Air Force Base, Texas, and the same with the dogs. They go through Texas, and then we pair up at the base. Well, that's my old alma mater. I was in the Air Force. There you go. Couldn't cut it for the Marines, so. Yep. Now, <laughs> as far as um, the public right now, are you guys going to have any of this going on this week where we can come see the Marine Absolutely. Dogs? We'll, be, we'll be all around Phoenix. We have a bunch of uh, demonstrations going on at Civic Space Park. Uh, we'll be at the stadiums, Arizona State, so all over the place. Okay. And I also read in the paper today that USMC, United States Marine Corps, recruiting is at, at an all-time high. Mm -hmm. You guys don't have any problem recruiting people because you are, let's face it, the, the elite. There you go. You certainly <laughs> are. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thanks so much for your service to our country, and thanks for uh, paying us a little visit. We really appreciate it. Not a problem at all. Pleasure to meet you. Yes, y'all you. too. Thanks for having us. Thank, Thank you, you Marines. Happy birthday, everybody. We'll be right back. And then you put the moose in, okay. and I, I believe it does. It makes the shaft 40%. Kettle. It's okay. I got it. At Home Instead, we understand. It's why we offer individualized care for every unique situation to keep your aging loved ones safe and sound. At home, instead of anywhere else. Call or visit us at homeinstead.com. People all across America.